Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to work on number two of my personal challenge, which is my lovely turtle mould. So I'm going to bring you down and show you what I have in mind. Here's my mould and what I've done already, which you didn't really need to see me do because that would be ultra boring. I mixed some clear resin and poured it in. So this is already nice and hard. And what I'm going to do now is pour some coloured resin in probably like a goldish greenish colour. And that'll be the second stage. What I've already done is I did take a photocopy of the turtle, the mould, and kind of mapped out the plan of, you know, the shell pattern that I want. So without further ado, let me go and mix the resin. All right, the resin's mixed and the resin I'm using for this is Naked Fusion resin. It is a one-to-one -one ratio and mixed for five minutes, but I always give it an extra one to two minutes for good measure. I'm going to do the body in a lovely golden green and then a kind of different colour for its little legs and head and we'll see how that turns out. So the gold I'm using is a bright gold mica powder by Let's Resin. So I have that in here, just give that little stir, mix that in. It's a really, really gorgeous, bright, bright gold. And actually I've got tons of golds that I mix with resin and I recently got this and it is lovely, so bright. I think it's the shiniest. So you make sure you mix in that powder really, really well. Some extra resin on standby. So I'm gonna put that lid on and I've got a couple of greens. I think for the body, so Naked Fusion do these mica, um, Lux Mica pigments, and they're so luxurious, um, glossy and um, shimmery. So I'm going to go with the Kiwi for mm, body or legs. I think legs. This is my leg pot. Okay, let's do the legs. You see, give that a good stir in. It's so pretty. There. I'll bring you, I'm going to bring it up to you so you can see how gloriously. shimmery and shiny it is. So that's the kiwi. Here's the gold. Lovely jubbly. And I think I'm going to mix in with the gold. I think I'm going to try, I haven't used this for ages, the Perlex Spring Green. Literally haven't used this for Yonks. Yeah, that's more of a turtley kind of colour. So let's get that. Stir that in. Um, you know, you can cocktail colours together to create your own. I might add a bit of Naked Fusion into this. This is Jade. I think I'm just gonna add it to make it uh, this a little bit more opaque and a little bit more shimmery. There, that's a good turtle color too. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Get my little baggies out of the way. 
And let's mix this in. Oh, yes. If you can see the difference. Perlux is nice, but it's not as shimmery. Because I want it shimmery with the gold. Okay. Check that's mixed. Oh, yes. Very pretty. Okay. Now let's get on and pour the body. I'm going to begin with the gold. I've probably got way too much resin. And just move that up to the edge. Actually, I'm going to mottle in some green up to the edge. around. And don't forget his little bottom. And um, remember with silicone moulds, don't use a, um, whatchamacallit, torch. Because you'll ruin your moulds. Use a a heat gun on a low setting. And some people like to use those fire lighter thingies. I don't find they work actually. Maybe it's me. Right, hang on. I want more gold and I want this mixed more. Mix. I'll just swirl it. Swirl it, because the next stage you'll see what I'm going to do. All of this, most of this is going to be covered up. Right, want more gold. I've got green all over my gold stick. I want more gold up at the edge. Yes. All righty. Little gold necklace. Head. Head, head, head. I think the head's going to be gold. Head's going to be three colours. Head's going to be gold. This light green. Now I do have plans for this in for another video, but we're right now this video is just about the turtle. Okay. And then lastly, a little bit of dark green in his little head. Not going to have eyes because it's only an abstract. All right. Now for a little limbs. I'm just going to put that down. I think I'm going to have to mix more. I shall see. Yeah, I'm going to have to add a little bit more. I'm 
Where's my kiwi? All right, now I need another lolly stick. this in and I think I'm gonna have to put a little bit of dark green in the legs otherwise it's gonna look weird look like it's got bright green socks on or something but there is another stage coming which I'll tell you about in a minute right just make sure that's all pushed up to the edge Kind of blend that in so it's not such a harsh line but it is a shell remember oh. that is the shell okay and then lastly i am going to just take a little bit of the dark green and just kind of blob it in to the legs and arms or fins, I should say. All will make sense soon, very soon. Ta-da! It's dry like magic. It is amazing how this dried. I hope you can see this. Let me check if you can see how it dried is so weird. Like, look at this kind of weird square in the middle. It doesn't matter because that's all going to be covered over. But look at the legs. I'm gonna bring it up. Oh God, I hate my camera. It kind of auto focuses. Let me bring you down. That's better. Sorry. Look what happened. Here. And the legs. Look at the beautiful head. I love his gold bottom. I'm gonna keep that. And this weird square kept in the middle. It's so strange. Uh, that's why it kind of, I love resin. It does have a mind of its own. Anyway, now to the next bit. So for this bit, I am going to refer to the photocopy I took and what I sketched out. And for that, I'm going to use this. It's like a relief paint it is by pebio and they call it a relief paint and it's really kind of chunky um anyway so i'm going to do that and all of this is going to be in fast forward and time relapse and i'm not going to even do the whole thing i will you know cut to pieces because it's like watching grass grow so enjoy and once that's dry we will do the next step <laughs> So I want to bring you in for a close-up so you can really grasp the kind of 3D effect that this is going to have. Oh, let me move my glasses out of the way. Sorry about that. Um, so you see the relief paint is 
really standing proud of the resin. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want it perfect. Nobody wants it absolutely perfect. Then it wouldn't seem natural. And once it dries, it will settle and form to the resin. And then we will fill all those cavities with another color resin. So we have the next day, Shazam, and all the relief paint has dried. So I have these three little cups. I hope you can see them. Three little cups. And now I'm going to mix in the resin. So apologies for, I don't even know what angle you're at. But anyway, so I've mixed the resin. I have my brilliant gold mica in this one. And this is the Perlex. I kind of like this Perlex. Anyway, this is the Perlex. All the ingredients will be below. And then this is the it's kiwi or it's either kiwi or green apple. Anyway. So the object is to fill the cavities, all these little beautiful little cavities with green and gold. So I'm just going to go on and I will fast forward this because it'll be really boring. Um, I have some leftover clear resin, which I will do probably off camera, but I'm gonna like just like fill the whole thing. This is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, shouldn't applaud myself, but it really, really is. Anyway, we will come back and I will demold tomorrow. So it's time to demold turtle, Mr. or Mrs. I'm not sure. And I did fill this quite thickly. And it's coming out just fine. And there we have it. Perfect mold, perfect turtle. Look how cute. So what I'll do is I will put um, like a hook on the back here and resin the hook on so it can be hung on a wall if somebody wants to do that. And a few bits of straight resin here, which I can just peel off. There we go. And sand some sharp edges down. But that's it. I hope you like my turtle. I'll bring you up or show you in the light. How cute is that? I'm going to make tons of these. All in different colour turtle families. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.